I hope you are doing well. This is A Touch of Tarot. If you'd like to get more readings, feel free to subscribe. I am on here daily, pretty much. So here we go. Let's begin. This is the message that wants to come up for you. I'm going to start by cutting the deck just to get an overall vibe. And then we will see what's happening here. Oh, wow. So Taurus, you have... The emperor here. I feel like this is you and your element, even though this is connected more strongly with Aries. Um, take a, t a minute to check the lighting. So we're starting off with the emperor. And what this energy is about is what I'm getting with is a strong foundation, a strong home, stability, someone who's sitting in their throne and not moving, someone who's really looking at things and taking everything into account before before even speaking okay did i just put that in reverse i did okay before making any offers and that may be what's going on so first card for taurus please okay it doesn't want to show itself just yet second card please leave that down as well and the third card for taurus for the message for taurus what do we need to know? So I'm going to take the one that came out. I'm going to flip them all over. So Taurus, we're starting off the reading with the Eight of Wands. And what this tells me, because this is representing your energy and what you're thinking about right now. And I am picking up that you have questions in regards to some sort of a relationship, something that you have really stuck out in, stuck it out in. Sorry, mind my slur there. Um, you want, you have questions, you want answers, you want to know things. Did you put all the effort into this for nothing is what I'm picking up. You're really wondering. I feel like you're dealing with someone, maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Um, but this is someone who's really in their head and who actually finds it easier to just step away from the situation at this time. This is someone who um, may really strongly be thinking about the connection you have, but need healing from a past relationship as well as what I see, or from some sort of childhood wounds. Um, tell me more about Aries person, please. There's something where they're not comfortable just yet, okay? This person is going through some sort of situation on their own, and they are guarded. That is what I'm getting. They are guarded. They are blocking people out. They are very much so in their head. And the reason I'm getting has to do with something with you having questions and this person just putting up the defense here. Okay, Taurus. Um, this person is defensive about the situation. This person doesn't want to talk about it, doesn't want to answer your questions. This person may bury themselves in work or you may be doing the same thing just to avoid the confrontation that seems to be happening. So we're going to clarify these cards for you, Taurus, and see what comes up. So for the eight of wands, please, let's see what we get here. So once again, I'm going to this statement that you want answers, Taurus. You have questions. You are almost in this spot where you just don't care anymore. You want things answered. You want to know the truth. I'm almost getting that you want to go and knock on this person's door and wake them up and be like, we need to talk. Uh, like, you know, if you think I, I'm scary before, I'm going to get real scary now because we need to talk type of an energy. Let's see what's coming up. And we have the Queen of Wands here. So this can literally be you, Taurus, saying, you know, I have, I have questions. I want to know what's going on. Um, I want to speak clearly to you. I want to tell you how I feel. I want to know, is this over or not, is what I'm getting. I want to hear what you have to say so I can make a decision and choose if I want to stick around here and wait for your return or make a cut and go. Because there's something that you're seeing that you're not liking or there's something that you're feeling that you're not liking, okay? So let's go and get more on your person, another four. So this person really does need to heal from whatever is going on in their mind. And I do believe it has to do with the past relationship, some sort of a past. Um, I'm getting commitment, but situation that they were very tied to. I feel like it was a bit of an abusive relationship in the sense that it was one-sided. One person was giving, 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 and the other um, 
was it's it's like it's almost like the other person couldn't take so i'm not quite sure who was giving so much but it became very burdensome um someone was over giving love and i think it was your person i'm seeing the nine of swords here and the ten of wands they just kept on giving to someone that didn't want their love is what i'm getting so they were rejected over and over again this is what they need healing from this really affected your person, okay? I do feel strongly that you could be dealing with an air sign, though it doesn't have to be. But regardless, it's someone who takes things very personally and who really gets lost in their thoughts about things. And they think about the past. They're still healing from it. Um, this person could have taken... Someone in that situation that they were in could have taken advantage of them. It could have been the person they were seeing or even a family member with the tree in the background, right? Whatever it was... Um, it, it didn't feel good and it really affected this person. Okay. They have nightmares. They have bad memories about that situation. Um, and they are afraid that anything could happen in life and that could always come around again. So tell us more about that. We have the chariot. So this is talking about someone actually wanting to start moving forward, wanting to stop, um, being so defensive about this situation this person is actually clearing their energy, clearing their space, realizing that they have to free themselves um, from hanging on to the past because it's blocking their wishes. So this is your person. And I'm going to get another card here. Let's see what else we get. They're ready to move forward. They don't want to have block. They don't want to block things anymore. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to take the first one to fall. And it's the full card. This person is getting ready to move forward and to make a move. They're collecting the strength, I guess we could say, to do that, to have some sort of a successful reunion with you. I'm seeing the strength card, the six of wands, and I just saw the queen of pentacles, which was hidden, but the six of cups. So this person really wants to come forward to you and make you a genuine offer is what I'm getting. What is this offer about? So there's a lot of cards that came out here, and I'm just going to read this message. Yeah. What this person wants to do is clear the air and let you know um, that you really are very special to them. You really could be dealing, once again, with an air sign. We have the Aquarius here. But there's a very special energy. This person wants to rebuild with you and have a fresh start with you um, and connect with you on another level is what I'm getting. They want to literally let go of the past and I'm hearing burn that bridge. So maybe burn that memory, totally walk away from something in the past that was keeping them stuck in fear of love. So that's a beautiful message. Now, where will this go? Let's just ask that. Where will this be going? Where will this be heading, this connection? So we have the Queen of Swords that is... A beautiful energy because the Queen of Swords only really accepts the truth and honesty, and she's a good for people reader, so she can pick up on pretty much next to anything. There's going to be, um, we have two feminine energies here. Of course, this can be, obviously, this can be air signs, water signs, man or woman, okay? Um, but I still see some clearing up that has to happen. And with the world card here, I do feel that that is going to get cleared. There may actually like be things publicly that have to be cleared in the air. Clear the air is what I'm getting. So that this connection, oh, wow. I didn't even expect that. So that this connection can come in um, to play, okay? Six of cups there. That's beautiful. Okay, Taurus, it looks like you have this beautiful connection heading your way. Yes, there's turbulence, but this is a very fulfilling connection. This can also be saying that there has to be some completions in other situations and categories um, in the matters of love and possibly money. It, there could be another uh, person that has to, um, I don't know, release something that has to do with money. Okay, I just saw the Queen of Pentacles are once again in the King of Cups. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that can go many ways. There could be... Um, a man and a woman and a woman, the woman just wanted money, not love. Okay. So it looks like there's a finale to a situation like that. Anyhow, thank you so much, Taurus. If you want to book a personal reading for you, you can find my information below. If you like this reading, do subscribe because there will be more coming up. Bye for now.